We want to be a community that practices radical hospitality and is not an enclave that protects itself against the world. Therefore, if our community of faith, our church has a playground for our children to play in, then our neighborhood has a playground for their children to play in. And if we have a community hall beneath this room where we have meals together and gather together uh, as a church, then the community has a place to gather to for uh, events of civic uh, significance and nonprofit uh, type occasions, uh, as even happened this week uh, with a, a lovely banquet uh, for our local high school. And if we have gardens and benches and places for prayer and meditation for our members to come. We are not going to check member credentials for anybody who happens to come by and experience that with us. That's the point. See, these things may seem small, but they, they grow out of a larger understanding, and that is that the church may have buildings with walls, and we may have property with boundary lines, but we have a lot of doors and driveways. And we want them to be open because that's the kind of community we want to be. We do not look at the world as if it is the enemy to hide from. That they are a threat somehow to be protected from. The church is not a fortress that is designed to ward off outsiders. Instead, being a community of faith means trusting our lives to God in such a significant way that we will live a life of love that drives away fear and that looks at strangers as potential friends.